Okay, so just continuing on from the last video, uh, I'm going to uh, go to the log and I'm going to uh, set this um, to both triggers activated and uh, we'll eventually plug those doors into this output here but for now we'll just have this both triggers activated and uh, what I might do is while I'm here I'll copy that and paste that I'm just going to plug in to the uh, false here uh, actually no I won't do that just yet Okay, so uh, let's see if uh, this works. It's going to take a lot of footwork to uh, to actually test this out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is grab Bob, grab Bill, activate those, and uh, in order to go down there, I'm going to need a little bit more range on my um, link gun. So I'm just going to come down here and get Bob's link gun upgraded. Okay, so I'm now uh, standing Bill in the uh, in the trigger, and now if we run all the way over the other side and activate this trigger hopefully we should get our message and there we go both triggers activated so it is working okay so um, what I will do is I'll come back into Kismet and I'll do what I was going to do before uh, first I'll just move this down just so that we can uh, tell what each of these is I just uh, copy and paste a copy of this, and um, I might move this a little bit further out. Uh, so if the uh, first comparison uh, actually returns false, uh, meaning that this boolean uh, is uh, still false, uh, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to send a message to the player that says another trigger needs to be activated. I'll also uh, copy that, paste that, and put that on the false here. Now the reason I didn't do this before is that I was a bit worried that we would actually show this message twice uh, because if they're both false that um, it might sort of fire off this one and then check this one and fire off this one, but that isn't going to happen because uh, if this one's false, it'll just show this log and it won't go to that second check. If this one is true, uh, it will go to the second check, won't uh, show this log, uh, but it will um, it will uh, check this and find this to be false, and it will um, fire off this trigger. And so now uh, we should have it so that uh, if we come into the game and try these triggers it says another trigger needs to be activated and that just gives the player a heads up as to uh, as to what what it is they need to do in order to progress in the level okay so now with um, with the functionality set up we have to uh, decide uh, what we want uh, to happen once those triggers are activated well the first thing that I want uh, to happen is that I want these um, uh, lights and uh, meshes uh, to be re-hidden and um, uh, re-disabled. Uh, and so I'm just going to I'll grab these and move these over to here. And so uh, first I'm going to uh, put in a toggle and I don't need that log anymore and I'm going to turn off these lights
and then I am going to go to a uh, toggle hidden and I am going to hide uh, these actually uh, I won't I won't use that I'll use a destroy because we're not going to have them coming back it's a new action actor destroy and so there we go and so now instead of uh, playing that uh, log file it's just going to um, uh, switch off those lights and destroy the um, the meshes and uh, next we need to um, uh, work on the opening of the door so what I'm going to do is I'm first just going to select this interp actor and uh, yeah, it's on this side and coming into Kismet I am going to put in a new matinee and with the uh, matinee selected sorry with the door selected I'm going to open matinee and add a new empty group and I'm going to call this um, doors okay and um, I'm going to add a new movement track and now I'll just close Kismet and make sure that my interp actor is um, plugged into doors and I'm going to take my timeline I'm just going to narrow this down to um, one and a half seconds and uh, I already have a keyframe for frame one so I'm just going to come up to um, uh, this actually I might take this down to uh, one second and see how and see how we go with that and so uh, at the um, point 0.5 mark I'm just going to hit enter and I'll just come to the end and I'll also hit enter and then I will go back to this uh, middle keyframe and I'll adjust uh, this keyframe. I might move this out of the way and close Kismet just so that I can see a bit better. And so what I will do is at the uh, at the halfway point, just switch to unlit. Just going to drag this door back so that it goes over this nice slot that we've carved into the ground and at this point uh, I'm just going to have this, uh, this door back Sorry. and I'm going to take it down there we go and that is our matinee and in the uh, next video uh, we're going to test out that matinee and uh, fix any problems with it. I know I had problems last time I used it. Um, and uh, also uh, hook it up to our triggers.